Is that Joe or is that Bill? That's Joe. Hey, Joe, this is Paul. Paul, how you doing? I'm doing great. Bill, hey, I'm Paul. here in Utah via Skype. Yeah, listen, you're talking to the most technically challenged person you'll ever meet in your life. <laughs> That's why you moved to Utah, right? To get away? That's it. That's it. I, you know, I'm, I'm going off the grid. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> well, today I'll make sure you're done with it, huh? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I appreciate the time. I'm not going to mince words. I turned 40 on March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. What do I need to know about men's health turning 40? Uh, well, Joe, I'm going to let you take that one because I haven't seen 40 in, you know, I hate to even think. <laughs> but but you know what, though? I will tell you this, but at 40, now's the time. Now's your time. You, you need to start now doing what Joe's about to tell you. Well, the, the bad news about 40 is you're old enough for things to break. And the good news about 40 is that you're in good enough shape to break them. So it, <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Did Bill write that, or is that all you, doctor? Uh, that was me. That's all him. That's all, that's all Joe. <laughs> but, right. you know, as you turn 40, your life, your life changes. It doesn't, it changes subtly. And everybody's different. So, you know, 40 for you may be 50 for me or, or, or 30. But the most important thing is that if we talk to ourselves, we have a horrible physician taking care of us taking care of us. So you really have to, to have somebody like a coach say, look, this is what you can do, this is what you can't do. There is no way you would take a 40-year-old car on a cross-country trip without having it checked. You know, once you check it, it says, yeah, it looks all right. Just be careful, you know, watch the brakes, watch this. And the same is true with your body. In men, the prostate, which is in my field of urology, is one of the areas that we are most vulnerable to having problems with prostate enlargement, prostate irritation, prostate infection, and of course, prostate cancer. The risk increases as you approach 50. So you wanna be aware of that. If there's a problem, you wanna identify it and fix it so that you can live the best life that God plans for you. Well, that was a great answer. Um, I Honestly, I, I don't even know, like when, when should a guy start caring about his prostate? Uh, just about where you are right now. <laughs> um, 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 unless, unless you've already had problems. Um, if you look at the studies on erectile dysfunction and sexual dysfunction, you know, half of the men at age 50 have experienced some form of that. Most of that is, is due to changes in, in blood pressure, blood pressure medication, and changes in the prostate. FU, frequent urination, which is what Bill and I have been talking about and trying to get the word out, is that if you have to urinate, you're definitely not going to be partying. And, <laughs> and the prostate is usually responsible for that for a multitude of reasons. So getting a checkup as you age, getting a relationship with a doctor that you're comfortable with, is, is just good. It's just, you know, it's no different than taking care of your older cars. Just got to gotta keep an eye on things. Bill, let's tell us about your prostate, would you? <laughs> hey, my prostate's good and healthy. I get it checked every year. I get, I take urinazinc. And I will tell you this, that I would not associate my name with a product that I didn't take myself. Uh, and I'll be honest with you. When I, uh, there was, it was getting to be a point where it was starting to affect my life, the F few moments. Uh, and uh, so I, the, I got involved with this campaign. I, so I said, well, I'm going to try it first. And I literally did it for a month and I saw major differences. I saw uh, a lack in the urgency to go. I, I saw a lack of the times I went. I finally, like for the first time in my life, I think slept through the night and thought, oh, and you know what? It's just a natural supplement that replaces uh, stuff that's been uh, taken out of our, our, our ingestion. Like, like Joe says, the food that when we were back way back in time, we didn't nobody lived past 60 and you didn't have to really worry about it. You know, and foods came in and out of season and uh, we could only eat what, we, what was available. But now we can get it wherever, whenever. Uh, and so we need to take care of our, uh, our, our, our health. And as I always say, if I gave you a supplement that said, if you take this, 
you'll be stronger and you can run faster. You take it without even thinking about it. But, you know, when it comes to problems down below the belt, we kind of get all tight lipped about it. And I don't understand. And I was that way too. And I don't understand why we do it, but I figured maybe I, if honestly, if I, if me being associated with this helps one guy to figure out that, you know, it's not that big a deal to take care of your prostate, then I've, then I've done my job. And so it's literally just a vitamin that you're taking. Yeah. Is that right, Bill? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a vitamin. It's not a, it's not a drug. You can get it at Walmart. You can get it at Walgreens, CVS. Uh, it's, it's like, a, you know, it's like taking a one a day or, 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 or whatever your daily supplements are. And it's, you don't need a prescription and, uh, it just kind of helps the old prostate stay a little healthy. I had a question in regards to diet for you guys. I've uh, I've been really big into intermittent fasting over the last like ten months or so, and I feel like it's been great. Any anything I should be concerned about with that, or and just general tips on diet for hitting forty? Oh, the the best thing to do with diet is everything in moderation. I mean, this is stuff your mother would tell you. And and Bill is a perfect example. We were not designed to be trained circus animals, and yet. Our life is a trained circus animal. Stand here, jump there, go through the loop, entertain the people, and our lives take second, <laughs> second, you know, it's true. I love that analogy. You're killing it today, doctor. <laughs> but but <laughs> we're not designed to do that, and, and we're no. forcing our body to do things it really was not designed to do. So when it fails us or alerts us that there's a problem, you know, we don't want to hear it because I'm too busy. I got to do this, and... You know, as far as your diet, when when we were thrown out of the Garden of Eden, Eve forgot the owner's manual. So nobody really knows exactly what's right for us. So I think if you do everything in moderation, you, you can't go wrong because you balance out the good and the bad. Mm -hmm. So, Bill, when you mentioned UF, or wait, no, FU, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great acronym. Um, you just you mentioned that. Was there anything that you, were, you would drink and you'd see – more frequent urination like obviously coffee is going to make you go to the bathroom but were you drinking certain things more or was it more well you know uh mm -hmm. well i will tell you what i'll tell you what i've done in my life um i used to be a huge beer drinker and i was always it was always kind of a running joke that i could go for a long time but after i peed one time then i was peeing it seemed like every five minutes you know uh yeah break the seal yeah, exactly. And so, uh, and then I started drinking a lot of water. I try to drink a lot of water during the day anyway. Uh, one of the things I noticed was that I would take a big glass of water to bed with me and I would drink it during, well, obviously that's going to make you have to go to the bathroom. Uh, but yeah, I just feel like, uh, and, and, and by, trust me, I am far, far from being a natural holistic, whatever guy. I'm sure it's great, but I was, I was raised as, as a member of the clean plate club and, you know, we had to eat everything on our plate, whether we wanted to or not. But I've also been, I feel like I've gotten a little smarter in my age in that I do watch what I eat now. I try to eat vegetables. I try to, you know, uh, I, I happen to enjoy a good steak. Uh, and, uh, but I don't do it every, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't order the tomahawk chop, you know, I get, uh, you know, I'll get like a filet or something. And, so I think, as Joe said, it's just it's just moderation. Just watch what you eat, what you drink. Uh, if and and by the way, if you're like I am a coffee person, but I can tell you right now, if coffee started really irritating my system to the point that I noticed it, I would cut back on the coffee. It just seems I think sometimes we overthink the situation, and and the answer is right in front of us. You know, just everything in moderation. What no matter what it is. I love uh, that you said clean plate club, and that immediately made me, for some reason, flash back to the 80s when everybody could smoke everywhere. Do you guys remember oh. that? When you could just smoke in any restaurant. The, the thing that like separated the smoking from the non-smoking section was a sign that said smoking section. <laughs> yeah. I listen, Hey, listen, my mom smoked while she was pregnant with me. I mean, it was like, uh, you know, smoking was uh, – I, I smoked for a long time, and I'll tell you what, I loved it. If if they if the if the medical association came out and said we sorry we were wrong smoking's not bad for you I'd be all in again because I enjoyed it but uh, right. that's probably not going to happen so uh, but yeah it's uh it's it's you know there's it's like anything you know it's like 
you just got to, you know, somebody told me this, but we only get one body. That's it. Where there's no closet we can go to and go, oh, at least not yet. Where they can go, we're going to give you new, you know. Uh, so why not take care of that body of yours? Uh, and, and I think that's part of the problem with this, buddy, is that because the prostate is internal, we don't think about it. If it was, if, right. if you had, if you, if you look down your arm and all of a sudden there was a growth on your arm, you'd be like, what the hell? I got to get to the doctor. But because mm -hmm. we can't see the prostate or any of our, our organs, we have to, as Joe said, rely on the signs that the body's giving you. And if, you know, if, 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 if things like a few moments are starting to affect your daily life, do yourself a favor, go see the doctor, ch chat with them. Nine times out of 10, they're probably going to say, here's what's it. You're getting older. Like you just said, you just turned 40. But now if you know what's coming your way, then you can, you can take it. You can help it along the way. You know, you can, you can help yourself out. Love it. Awesome. Awesome stuff, guys. Seriously. It's, uh, you're right. It's something that people don't want to talk about until it's an external symptom. And, uh, I appreciate the insight. I'd like a joke before I go though, Bill, what do you have? Uh, a joke joke. Um, you know, it could be observational about your prostate. It could be political. It could be about women. Women jokes. I'm always for. You're always in. Yeah. Well, either either a you're not married or. <laughs> yeah. As you here, here's the thing. As you get older, you're gonna learn that there's certain jokes you just kind of don't tell. There's an old saying in comedy goes, "Know your audience." <laughs> But now um, you know what it's 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 I have a great job and it's 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 and I'm so honored that I'm able to 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 be a part of this campaign with Dr. Joe and get the word out to guys that listen you don't uh, it's either you deal with it now or you deal with the undertaker so you know it's uh it, it's your choice And what uh what website can people go to get more information and to to check out the product what's the name of the product bill it's called Urinazinc. You can go to urinazinc.com. It's U R I N O Z I N C dot com. And like I said, you can get this at Walmart, sure, uh, Walgreens. You don't need a prescription. It's just a vitamin. And I, 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 you know what? Why? What do you got to lose? Yeah, exactly. Besides your life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, maybe if you hate your life, if you hate your life, don't worry about this. <laughs> <laughs> but but you may you may linger you may linger it may not be yeah. quick and painless yeah <laughs> that's the problem that's the that's the that's the problem you run it may not be a quick one you may be. <laughs> right and then dr joe will have to usher you out there you go i want to see joe on i want to see joe on the golf course not in the office <laughs> But I would see him in the office if I did. If I lived in Jersey, I'd go see him. Yeah, you're not going to see me on the golf course today in Jersey. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, it's been great. I really appreciate the time and seriously appreciate all the insight. Thank you very much. All right. Take Thanks, care buddy. Now. Have a great day. Take care, guys. You too.